Yeah, hi, this is Dr. Zelenko, and I'm making this video from my hospital bed. I uh, just want to give a quick update. Uh, many, many people have expressed their love and prayers, and uh, I'm very grateful. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, had a MRI and a transesophageal echocardiogram called a TE, and it found a tumor in my right ventricle. That's the uh, uh, lower right chamber of the heart. And on top of that tumor is a blood clot. Um, that's not pretty good news. It's not good news. And um, the treatment would be to go on blood thinners, which I'm on, to try to dissolve the clot. And then we have to figure out what to do with that tumor. Um, to be frank, if that clot breaks off, that's a ticket to the next world. Uh, also, there are more tumors around my uh, lower left lobe and my lung. So I'm in a precarious situation. However, as D King David writes, even though I walk in the shadow of death, I, f I shall fear no evil, for God is with me. And I do really feel that way in those words resonate in my soul more now than ever in my life. And there is a Talmudic teaching that even if the sword is on the on your neck, a person should never give up hope. And so I'm in a very good state of mind. And as I frequently said, they're gonna have to carry my body off the battlefield because my resolve to help humanity, the, the vulnerable, the innocent, decent people overcome this uh, terrible darkness and plague that is upon us has never been stronger. And if I have to leave the world, uh, I accept God's will, but I encourage and plead with everyone else to up your game and, and stand up and resist, uh, resist first within yourselves against giving into fear and then resist publicly against the policies of tyranny which are coming again because it's pretty obvious what's going to happen right now. The World Health Organization, which is essentially funded by the sociopath Gates, is gaining uh, more and more power over sovereign nations. Gates mess messaged, messaged I think five or six months ago that smallpox is a big threat and then uh, supposedly was eradicated in 1980 and it was only found in two labs in uh, America and in Russia in DSL level four labs, um, the highest maximum security labs. And yet five days after the sociopath criminal Gates uh, said his prophetic words, a few vials of smallpox were found in an unsecure refrigerator in a uh, Merck laboratory in Philadelphia. And so it, it's not surprising to me now that we're seeing monkeypox. Uh, I anticipate uh, um, global panic about it. That this will be the next media horror narrative that uh, will continue the fear campaign to and lockdown campaign and mass campaign to uh, create anxiety, isolate you from people you love, and dehumanize you with with uh, these uh, face diapers. And so this is their playbook, and they're gonna keep on uh, sending wave after wave of their evil agenda until we make internal resolutions to kick the evil out from within us. We should, in my opinion, uh, denounce the worship of false gods, the God of technology, the God of science, the God of uh, corrupt governments, money, power, fame, and reconcile our hearts with our creator who's making us anew every instant in time. 
uh, basically the, the world has now chosen sides. Uh, those that will worship the machinations of man and those that will uh, bow down to the creator. And so let the calling begin. Um, you know, the world needs a cleaning. And when the process is done, the world will be filled with the knowledge of God, just like the waters cover the seas. And uh, the sociopaths have a big thing coming for them. They think they're gods. They think that they're ruling the world. Uh, we'll see. Um, so let the games begin. And I have no problem falling in battle but, because this is a hill that we need to die on because otherwise our progeny will have nowhere to breathe free.